and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance in deciding who you want to become. In life, we often operate on autopilot, never really putting much thought on who we want to be. We focus on our goals and dreams, but without deciding on who you want to become, it's hard to change our habits and evolve into the best version of ourselves. When we have a plan on who we want to be, we set a plan in motion to make the changes needed to cultivate habits that will bring us closer to becoming the best version of ourselves. For example, what negative habits do you want to change? Is your current mindset holding you back from moving forward? What habits do you want to cultivate that will help you grow as a person? These are key questions you must ask yourself if you plan on evolving and raising your standards. Do you want to be a person who always aims high in life or who expects excellence from yourself and those around you? By setting these standards, you can then steer your habits and beliefs to match who you want to become. As Ralph Waldo Emerson quotes, the only person you are destined to be is the person you decide to become. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. So let's talk about multi-dimensional quantum entanglement. What exactly is that? <laughs> In the spiritual field, there are uh, different versions of ourself that are ex existing at the same time. So like our past and our future selves. Mm -hmm. And so I connect people. In what does luxury mean to you? Luxury. In India, I discovered that true luxury isn't something you buy off a shelf. True luxury is a feeling that you are the Maharani of your world. And it can be all designed around you. All the beauty is yours. All the music is yours. India showed me that luxury doesn't follow designers and brands. True luxury follows its own heart. Incredible India. Hand sanitizers have become extremely important in our daily life in view of the COVID-19 pandemic. Greenish, the brand you trust, now introduces hand sanitizer, which is approved by Health Canada, contains 75% food grade ethanol, has a pH balance formula, and absorbs rapidly and completely, leaving the skin soft and supple. Kills 99.9% .9 of the germs. Greenish hand sanitizer is available in 300 ml pump action bottles. For further information, visit your neighborhood pharmacy or www.greenish.com. Next up on the show, we have Joy Rochelle, who is the author of She Rises for Tomorrow. The book features a range of global women who took action to make their dreams a reality. This book features their stories of success and offers supportive wisdom and guidance for those wishing to do the same. Joy, thank you for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for asking. And your background is so cool. I was telling you before all the books <laughs> and you said it's a virtual background right very cool. actually no it's a um canvas wow you know one of those wall hangings i just have it set up with um a room divider nice to. well it looks very cool let's talk about your background and what you specialize in it's very interesting yeah i specialize in basically kind of like everything spiritual um i started off um channeling and connecting with angels and oh. spirit guides and now it's just kind of really advanced into like galactic star beings and our earth beings it's like very out there very like yeah. woo -woo type things and so now i help people connect to their psychic and spiritual resources to help them find fulfillment in their lives wow and how did you get into that because that's not something you hear every day right so what kind of sparked this? <laughs> I like to call it my soul pull. Like it's just kind of like been pulling me in this direction for like, I would say five years. And then last year I came into contact with a spiritual mentor who was doing a lot of the things that like 
I could see myself doing. Mm -hmm. And so I worked with her and she just really helped me gain like the confidence in what I was receiving and how I was receiving it mm -hmm. and gave me the clarity in who it is that I was here to serve mm -hmm. and um, to just basically go out and, and do it and trust myself and just basically like let my wings fly. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> very interesting. So let's talk about multi-dimensional quantum entanglement. What exactly is that? <laughs> that is a little complicated. So the easiest way for me to explain it is there are in the spiritual field, there are uh, different versions of ourselves that are ex existing at the same time. So like our past and our future selves. Mm -hmm. And so I connect people into their multi-dimensional selves, which some people would, would classify as maybe like past life selves. Mm -hmm. And then I tap into helping activate them to r retain and like basically like remember their gifts and abilities from those lifetimes mm -hmm. so that they can use it in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. So instead of like going into past lives just to see like what many people do for past lives is they go in and they look at like the trauma, like, oh, like why do I have like this knee problem or why do I keep having this like reoccurring pattern? And so many people go and get like past life like regressed and they're just, bringing up the trauma mm -hmm. in it. And so I like to work in the positive mm -hmm. of that instead of like, I used to do the trauma work and I do do that with clients, but I'm more about empowering them that um, they're more than their traumas that they're like carrying with them. Mm -hmm. And it's about just really empowering them to be who they are and to access their yeah. gifts and abilities to use now. Yeah, and that's very interesting. You said there's many versions of ourselves, which I think is really interesting because I'm really into the law of attraction and quantum physics, all of that stuff. I know it's a little bit out there, but I really believe in it. I watch YouTube videos on it. But for our audience that might not be familiar with that, let's talk about that a little bit and the different versions of ourselves, especially our future self, because I mean, everyone wants to know yeah. how they can evolve into the best version of them themselves, right? So yeah, um, yeah, so there's, Te technically like in spiritual in a spiritual sense we're all like all of these versions are existing at the same time like in the same moment um but in a more easy way to understand it is um what we do now in the present moment can affect um the versions of us that are in the past so like mm -hmm. we can heal ourselves in that aspect mm -hmm. and then by looking into your future selves you're able to like tap in and embody who it is that you envision mm -hmm. has your future self mm -hmm. and bring in that energy and like who like she would be now like what are the like especially like in business like what are the steps that she's doing now like mm -hmm. she's not um just kind of like winging it on her own and trying to do everything herself, right? Mm -hmm. She has a team, she's already built the team, she's like the CEO of her company, and it's just really stepping in and visualizing that version of yourself and yeah. trying to tap into it, yeah. <laughs> That's actually so fitting because the intro of my show um, on this episode before I even spoke to you is all about deciding who you'll become. <laughs> so it's actually very interesting yeah. that it aligns what we're both talking about. Um, is there a predestined person we're supposed to be or can we create our own destiny and create the person we want to become, in your opinion? In my opinion, from what I've learned from myself and clients is that we can try to like divert how um, our, our destiny is supposed to be like all we want, but um, all roads kind of lead to where we're supposed to be and who we're meant to become. And it's about, um, do we want to take the easy way or the, like the really hard way, which is like mm -hmm. going through like many forks in the road and finally getting to the destination? Or do you want to take like the easier route and get there in like 
six months, a year, five years, um, basically. Um, yeah, because mm -hmm. we're all here to do something, right? And not all of our purposes are to do like work that I'm doing, right? So yeah. it's like yeah. to do work that you're doing is getting people out into the media and yeah. broadcasting that and letting them know that that's what's possible for them as well. Mm -hmm. So I guess part of your destiny is being an author. You have a very exciting project, She Rises for Tomorrow. Let's talk about the book and what okay. inspired it. Um, I'm not the one who came up with the idea for the book, um, but I was really called to be a part of this book when the opportunity came up for it was because it was just a, a book about women who are rising up Mm -hmm. um, who have had, you know, like, like really like, like traumatic, like experiences mm -hmm. and, you know, like seemingly would, um, might think that, oh, like I can't be this version of myself. Like I can't be like this successful, um, coach or like business mm -hmm. owner. And it's about women who rise above that, who are yeah. keeping to, um, following their intuition and following that soul destiny pull and just kind of like surrendering to it and going with it and then becoming the women that we are now today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it really all starts in the mind, right? Once you decide you're going to be something or you decide who you want to become and kind of get through the barriers in your mind, you can become it. So that's, that's why I love the concept of this book. Let's talk about some of the stories that you showcase in this book and some of the women that you feature. Uh, one of the women, women that is featured, her name is Kimmy Wong, and she's that one who like collabed the book together. And I just love her story because hers is about um, having this dream to be a spiritual entrepreneur no, not to not be a spiritual entrepreneur, to be an entrepreneur mm -hmm. and having this drive since she was a kid. And then she like dabbled in like a whole bunch of different um, things. Like she tried selling things on eBay. She tried multi-level marketing mm -hmm. and like all those things didn't work for her. And then she worked for corporate and then she had her kids and she seemingly like had this like happy life where she has like the great husband, the kids, the amazing corporate job that like people are jealous for her mm -hmm. for having, but like she still wanted more. And mm -hmm. so then she started her coaching business and now she is like super successful and teaching other people how to be successful coaches and like putting things together like this book collaboration. So mm -hmm. she is just, um, yeah, really amazing. And then there's, um, I had a note here, uh, Deborah, Deborah Cherry, who is a single, who was a single mom and she was in the corporate industry mm -hmm. and she followed her, um, what's it, what did she call it? She took the leap of faith on following her purpose. And now she also does like spiritual work as well and is, has become like quite successful in that. And so, and she had, I believe a lot of people tell her that, you know, like, maybe you shouldn't do that. Like you're a single mom, like you should stick, you could keep, you should keep your corporate job. Mm -hmm. But it's, yeah, it's really about following, taking those leaps of faith and having them work out and pan out for you. Um, especially like when you're in full alignment with that being a part of like your soul destiny, your soul mission. Mm -hmm. And this book also tackles some of the challenges modern women face. So what are those challenges and how did they, how were they addressed in this book? So one of the challenges that modern women face is um, like, I'm not, I don't have any children, but a lot of the women in the book do about um, being like unfulfilled and like, the motherhood aspect of it because like as society we have this image or these um thoughts like projected and placed on us that you know like if you have a good job you have the good husband and you have the kids like that should be what fulfills you mm -hmm. like as a woman and the majority of the women who are in the book there's a total of 18 of us are like no like we're still trying to find something that really fulfills us. It's like following our passion and not waiting until the kids are all growing up until we get to like live our lives. Basically, mm -hmm. it's like you can do it now. And that's what I like 
about the book is that it's so inspiring, especially for women who have children, right? Mm -hmm. Who have kids and who think that they have to like put their lives on hold or work the job just to pay the bills because they can't risk their family. Um, they're like family like finances, I guess, because they have kids and like all these responsibilities, right? It's mm -hmm. about breaking through those and really yeah. just taking the leap and believing in yourself and um, mm -hmm. what it is that you're wanting to do. Yeah, I agree. And especially modern women, millennials like myself, um, you know, we our mindset's a little bit different. We Yes, we want the husband, we want the, the house and all of that, but we also want a career and a lot of people are doing it later in life now. You know, when a lot of people are getting married later on, not early in the early 20s. So what advice do you have for women that are kind of in that situation? Who are like in their yeah, just, 20s, just, 30s, just kind of waiting. Yeah, or anyone, it doesn't really matter. Just anyone that's kind of maybe wants those things, but you know, it's focusing on their career. Uh, it's all possible for you. You don't have to wait. You don't have to um, choose one or the other. Mm -hmm. You can make it work. Like if you want to have it all, like you can have it all. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's possible. <laughs> yes, I agree. And speaking of that, you know, you're all about raising women up, uh, supporting each other. That's what this book is about. So let's talk about your passion. And I think everyone needs to support each other, you know, especially women. So let's, let's talk about that for you. And my passion is in really empowering, especially women um, to listen to themselves, to come back to being their own, what I call their inner autonomous authority, which is basically another word just to like being sovereign. It's like being who you want to be and being authentically you instead of being the, trying to be the person that you think everybody wants you to be. Mm -hmm. Like being the person that maybe your partner wants you to be, being the person that your boss wants you to be, that your family and your friends like think that you are mm -hmm. and knowing that it's okay to change your mind and to really discover who you are on the inside, like who you truly are, because it wasn't until I found out who Joy like fully was, wasn't, I didn't start that journey until like five years ago. Um, and it was very um, eye-opening and interesting because I was like, I have been this version of me but it isn't me, right? Like I've taken concepts from other people and kind of like mashed them into like my personality, thinking like that's what people were wanting from me to be like, to fit into like society. And now I'm just like, no, this is me. And if you don't like me, then, you know, like you don't like me. It's not, I don't have like that, um, those like thought patterns and like that trauma attached to it that is wanting to be like a people person wanting to be liked by everybody to mm -hmm. in order to like feel fulfilled mm -hmm. um yeah i hope yeah. that makes yeah <laughs> no it totally makes sense and that's great advice you know because the more authentic we are the more we are able to attract the things we want you know so if you're not your yourself or your you're trying to be someone else, you're never really gonna attract the people, the right people, the right circumstances. So I think that's really great advice. Being authentic, I completely agree, is very, very important. Let's talk about one thing people can take away from this book, because there's so many great stories in it. They can take away that if you are thinking that being like a successful entrepreneur is it possible for you? It isn't possible for you to follow your passions that you have to, you know, get the certain certificate, get the certain degree, you know, have so many hours like banked in like, um, for me being a spiritual entrepreneur, like having like so many hours like banked in like healing individual clients and stuff and like maybe giving your services away for free just to like get that experience and the confidence It's like, it's giving you the um, inspiration and empowerment to start now, to start today, to really figure out what it is that you're wanting and what it is that you're really passionate about. And taking that one 
like baby step leap forward and honoring yourself and honoring your passion and just going for it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And what advice do you have for people that want to take that step forward? Because most people, again, they, they're in their own mind. They're afraid. How do, how do you take that first step? What, what kind of advice do you give your clients to take that first step mentally and kind of take action? I, what I tell my clients all the time is to step into that future version of yourself. Mm. And it's for me, like I'm very spiritually based, and so I ask the clients to tap into their soul, purpose, mission, what they see themselves doing in the world. So if you see yourself being a a speaker or like some sort of leader in your industry, mm -hmm. then sometimes you have to do the things that like you don't want to do, yeah. right? It's stepping into that future version of yourself and um, just becoming her. Like mm -hmm. I had a really hard time doing video at first and yeah, I just keep doing it, you know, like keep showing up on the Facebook lives and, and stuff. And like, even like coming on and doing like this interview, I'm like, you know, yeah. but it's like, okay, no, this is, this is for the betterment of like my mission and getting, you know, information out there. And I'm more than capable of doing it when I quiet the voices like in my yeah. head, like that I call the ego that are like, you can't do it, you're not ready, or like, who yeah. are you to be on this show type of a thing. Yeah, I completely understand. I, it's funny because you would think that someone that does what I do, that I'm completely comfortable all the time. And a lot of times I'm nervous, I'm in my head, and I always remind myself that, you know, this is bigger than myself. It's about helping others. It's about being like the messenger, you know? I'm just kind of conveying that information. So I think that's really great advice. You know, just getting out of your own head. Let's, uh, let's talk about some of your current projects. I know you were chatting before, you were talking that you have a lot of amazing projects coming up aside from this book. So what else are you up to? <sighs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I have spiritually, um, created with uh, my spiritual team, um, this amazing, innovative health and wellness um, service slash, yeah, it's more of a service right now. It's not a product yet, um, but it doesn't have to be a product, um, is Enchantments by Joy, mm -hmm. which I'm marketing to individuals and corporations yeah. um, for employees because it's showing like really high in my my testing that it really improves people's like um, ability to process information process emotions think more clearly like get rid of brain fog and just like feel overall like more healthy mm -hmm. and so um i wasn't going to go into corporate with that but again i looked at the big picture of it and was like there are many corporations out there doing amazing work and their employees could benefit from feeling better, right? Yeah. Instead of like feeling like, oh, like they have to show up for work, um, but they're like not feeling good. So they're like not putting their best foot forward type of a thing, mm -hmm. um, things like that. And I'm also reaching out to high net worth individuals to assist them with really connecting to themselves and gaining what I call spiritual wealth, mm -hmm. becoming spiritually wealthy. Um, because what I have found like within myself and other people, and especially with like high net worth people is that you can have like, uh, tons of money and like all the material things, but it's like something missing mm -hmm. and it's that connectedness to themselves. And so I help people really connect to themselves, uh, connect to their spiritual team and help them like develop like what I develop with like enchantments by joy. It's like innovative technology in a sense, right? So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Spiritual wealth. <laughs> it yeah. sounds so great, right? I, I love yeah. that. I think everyone should strive for that. <laughs> um let's talk about how people connect with you can connect with you on social media and uh your company as well. And as well purchase the book. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Yes, um, my website is joyrachelle.com. Um, you can find me on social media. My Facebook page is 
um, just type in official Joy Rachel um, on Instagram. It's the opposite. It's Joy Rachel official. Um, I'm also just started on TikTok, so I think you oh. can search Joy Rachel. <laughs> but I'm also my username there is called the Galactic Enchantress. Wow, <laughs> so. nice. Very interesting. Yes, and um, the book. If you want to purchase the book, I will have it. On my website um, at this URL, it'll be joyrachelle.com backslash she rises book. And that's where you can find out how to purchase it and own your own copy of it and be inspired. <laughs> Amazing. Well, this has been a very, very interesting segment. I've really enjoyed speaking with you. And, you know, congratulations. Keep up the amazing work. Keep helping people evolve into their best self. I think what you're doing is um, very needed in the world. So thank you. And uh, it was a pleasure having you. Thank you so much for having me on the show. And yeah, it's been an amazing experience. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.